Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a August empties for you. I have my Top Shop bag here and it is full of shit. Um, I'm facing a different way today because th the sun is over here where I normally sit. So ignore the boobs in the background or look at them, whatever. Um, so this is everything that I finished up in the month of July and August. Um, there's lots. The first thing I have here is a package of these simple micellar wipes. Um, these are probably my favorite makeup remover wipes. Um, I don't use makeup remover wipes every night, but some nights either if I come home and want to work out after I work all day, I don't like to put my makeup on, so I use these to take my makeup off. And my husband is in a band, so if he has a gig and we don't get home till like 2 o'clock in the morning, most times I am not about doing my whole makeup routine, so I'll just do the makeup wipe, and I really like these ones. Um, I finished up a Garnier Fructis Big Volume Hairspray. I did not like this. I would not repurchase it. I have the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protectant Spray. I've used this one a million times. It doesn't make my hair crunchy or anything. I feel like it works, so I will repurchase that one probably. Um, I have a Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the Tropical Scent one, and I actually really like the Tropical Scent, so I probably would repurchase this one. Batiste, in general, is my holy grail dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair very often, like once a week tops so I like to have lots of dry shampoo on deck. Finish up a Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. I've had this for I feel like a really long time and I honestly don't love it. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was just okay. It didn't blow my mind. I have a Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 baby unscented pure castile soap. Love this soap. This is my favorite soap to wash my brushes and beauty blenders with so I will 100% repurchase that. It's fantastic. I have the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I cut open all tubes in my life. So this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I've had this forever. I've scraped her out. Um, this is a great cream. I use it as a lip balm at nighttime, but also um, I have used this as like a moisturizing mask every once in a while when my skin is feeling really dry in the winter. I'll just like tie my hair up before bed, slather this all over my face. It's really thick and kind of disgusting, but you wake up and your skin is fantastic. Um, I also use this for like when your my pimples are healing, but they're still kind of dry and crusty. I use that as like a spot treatment overnight to kind of add moisture to it and it really helps a lot. Um, I have the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Now, I got this in a set probably in November. Um, and I didn't start using it, I think, until this year. Like, a couple months ago I started using this. It came with a set with the um, night oil. And I feel like I still have tons of the night oil left. And I went to pull this open to try to find more. But the pump is like attached to some weird little bag and so when you pump it sucks it out so I really don't believe that this was full like I don't believe this was full like this did not fill up this container so I finished it up and I kind of just feel like if you're gonna sell me a set of two products and I should use one pump of each product at nighttime the set should last me an equal amount of time because now I have just the night oil but not this also this is supposed to be like everyone's holy grail and I really don't think it did anything for my skin um, I finished up the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. I have used multiple of these serums. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite serums really get rid of the texture on my cheek area. Fantastic. Would repurchase that hands down. I have two liquid liners here. This is the Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner and this is the Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. These are very similar. So if you're looking for a dupe for the Tarte, the Milani is very similar. They are both felt tip liners with a nice thin point that's the milani this is the tart the tart has a little bit of a finer point but i find that and like there's still liner in this but it's at a point where i can't get one wing to go perfectly so it's not worth it for me i find this is kind of dry it drags it pulls same with the milani one the ardency and one is so much better because they're like a dry like they're more of a matte formula they're a drier formula, which I find really hard to use in a liquid form like that. Okay, I just pulled out all of my face masks. I'm a psychopath. Uh, the first one I have is the Sephora Avocado Face Mask. I liked this one, but I honestly don't think the Sephora ones are any better than the ones I get at the face shop. And I believe Sephora is $5, face shop is 3 so bye. 
Um, I have all these face masks from the face shop. The Solution Hydrating Face Mask. I have two of the green tea face masks. I really like this one for my skin, when my skin is being problematic and kind of acne prone. It's fantastic. Uh, the Blueberry Mask, which is for firming. I don't really know if it firmed. And then I have the Cucumber Honey and Avocado Masks, which are all moisturizing. I really like the Avocado one. Cucumber one was okay. I used it recently. So that's that. Um, I finished up a Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. These are a holy grail for me. I've gone through so many of these. You get 60 for like $12.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart. I use them every morning. Last me two months, obviously. So fantastic. We purchased them a thousand times over. I have the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This is the black one, the charcoal one. I absolutely love this. It's a fantastic mask. It's a great dupe for the Origins Charcoal Mask or the Glam Glow. And it's like only $10. Finished up the Benefit uh, Total, Total, Total Moisture Facial Cream. I absolutely love this. The packaging, first of all, is luxe. Um, for some reason, you can only get this at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I've seen it in store in a couple Sephora's, but not online. It's so weird, but you can definitely get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's $52. Oops. So it's pricey, but fantastic. I love this if you have dry skin. I know this sounds super bougie, but in the mornings I like to spritz my face with water after I cleanse it before I put moisturizer on because I find that if you put water on your face, the moisturizer helps to pull the water into your face and add more moisture. So I just like that because I don't actually wash my face with water in the morning, so that's pretty helpful. Um, I finished up a sample size of the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This was okay. I feel like with a sample it's really hard to tell if you like it or not, but like I didn't hate it. I finished up the... Am I going to say I finished up? in front of everything that I did on the entire video because that's annoying. Uh, the Sephora Micellar Cleansing Milk. This is for eye, face and eyes and this is a rose scent. This was okay, but it was $10 for this tiny bottle, which is like the same size as this serum bottle. So I wouldn't recommend purchasing this. I would say go with the L'Oreal one or the Garnier one. They're way better. Um, I have the Not Your Mother's Naughty to Nice Detangling Conditioner. This is one of my holy grail conditioners. If you have curly hair that's really naughty, this is fantastic. Now, because I did bleach my hair a couple months ago, my hair is so dead <laughs> and dry that even this doesn't work the best anymore. But if you have just like regular dry, like damaged hair, it's fine. But if you have like really overprocessed damaged hair, that might not be good enough for you. I have two mascaras in here. The Maybelline Lash Sensational luscious full fan effect love this mascara i'm gonna try to open it for you but it's so dry and crusty uh this is what the wand looks like it's a plastic bristle wand and then i have the covergirl so lashy blast pro and i fucking hated this i hate lash blast i don't know why i keep trying all covergirl's new mascaras i'm just like a glutton for punishment i have the bath and body works soap in blue skies and blooms and i really liked the way this smelled it was a nice, like, I don't like really overpowering scents for my hand soap. This is like a nice, fresh, just like slightly scented scent, so I liked that. I finished up the Too Faced Hangover RX Nourishing Face Primer, which I also cut open. However, I do find that once this is cut open, it dried out really fastly, even though, really fastly, really quickly, even though it was in a Ziploc bag, so I didn't get to finish it all up. There's a little bit left in there still, but... I did like this primer, but it was really just like a moisturizing, nourishing primer, and I already used so many moisturizers as is that I really don't think I needed this to do anything. Like, it was nice, but I don't know if I would repurchase it. I have the Shiseido Facial Cotton because this is my holy grail facial cotton to finish up one every video. Oh, I have an eye mask from Sephora. This is the Sephora Honey Eye Mask. Um, again, I don't know if these do anything, but they feel really nice and relaxing, and I do like them. I finished up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I love this foundation. I need to finish up a couple more foundations before I will let myself buy this again, but it's so fantastic. If you like glowy skin, like it's like a medium to full coverage, super glowy, it makes you look so alive. I live for that. Um, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I didn't finish this up, it just creases on me, so I'm throwing it away. Um, I have the Amore Pacific Future Response Age Defense Dual Eye Cream. This was a sample, but usually a deluxe sam or a sample like this for eye cream will last me a couple days. But like with eye cream, I just, I don't know, does it do anything? 
I just feel like it never does anything. No. And the last thing I have is the Mario, B Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Uh, this is fantastic. This is a holy grail lotion for me. I use it as a spot treatment on my acne and it's fantastic. Nothing works better than this, although I do find that at the end, like, there's still pink stuff in the bottom. Can you see it? There's still pink stuff in the bottom, but all the liquid is gone, so it doesn't work anymore. But, I mean, it's so inexpensive. You can get it at Urban Outfitters in Canada, a couple of them. So, I picked one up at the one on Queen Street, I believe. So, if you're in that area, that's where you can pick them up. Or you can order it online from Beauty Bay. They have decent shipping to Canada. I think it's free over a certain amount, and they ship super quick. That is all she wrote. So that is all of my empties for the month of July and August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like I really like going through my empties like this. It's kind of therapeutic to see all the stuff I use up and it makes me feel better about buying new stuff when I can see all the stuff that I used up because I'm a shopaholic and I have a problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.